Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about bin packing problem. So, uh, bin packing problem means, so we will be having many number of bins and in those bins, we will place many number of objects. So, how we are going to arrange all those objects into the bins, that is actually the problem. So, the input for this problems are n objects. So, we will be having n objects. And each and every object will require some units which, which means we can also say some weight of these objects will be provided and their weight can be considered as Li. And each and every bin will have some capacity so all the bins are equal capacity so it could be considered as L. So main objective of this problem is to determine minimum number of bins. Say so anyways we will be having many number of bins okay so but we need only minimum number of bins to fill all the number of objects so that is what the main objective of this problem so let us discuss with this problem with some example so here the example given as l equal to 10 so which means the bin capacity is 10 and n equal to 6 so number of objects or uh, uh, objects are 6 so here the each and every object will have their separate own weight. Their corresponding weights are given as 5, 6, 3, 7, 5, 4. Which means the first object's weight is 5. Second object weight is 6. Third object weight is 3. Fourth object weight is 7. Fifth object weight is 5. And again, sixth object is 4. So initially, we need to find out what is the lower bound value. So this lower bound which is nothing but so how many number of bins are approximately required to fill all these objects. So that is what we are going to find out. So that is nothing but lower bound. So this could be calculated by we need to take summation of all these objects weight and that value will be divided by 10 where 10 is nothing but bin capacity. So that is given in this example. So we are actually performing um, summation of all these objects weight so here we are getting it as 30 and 30 divided by 10 which is nothing but 3 so 3 number of bins will be required to place all these objects into the bins okay so we need at least 3 number of bins it is not the exact value so approximately we can say we need 3 bins to store all these objects so let us see how we are going to pack all these objects into the bins so we are actually taking three number of bins one two three so here we are actually facing uh, placing all the objects one by one into the bin so considering the first object its weight is five okay so we are placing this first object into the first bin and if you check with the second object's weight it is six but as per the capacity given for the bin which is nothing but 10 so the remaining amount of space that is in the first bin is 5 so which we cannot place this second object into the first bin so we are moving to the second bin in order to store the second object which has its weight that is 6 now we are checking third object third object's weight is 3 but anyways we are not placing all these uh, uh, object third object into the first two bin we are moving to the sec uh, third bin so even though if you have some amount of space in the first two bins then why you are moving to the third bin because we are going to do the optimal packing so optimal packing means we uh, initially we need to check all the objects weight so if you place this third object in the first bin or in the second bin, so we will be having some uh, remaining amount of space that will be left free because we don't, so if you fill the third object in the first bin, so remaining amount of space which is nothing but two and if you fill here then the remaining amount of space which is nothing but one unit. So we don't have, um, uh, we don't have any other object which has this remaining unit of in these two bins. So, in order to provide the optimal packing, so we are moving this third object in the third bin. And if you check with the fourth object, so its weight is 7. So, we are actually um, placing in this third bin because, so that is what the uh, finest um, 
uh, placing uh, this uh, third i mean fourth object in the third bin so that you will you will not get any uh, extra space that will be wasted right so if you go and check with the next object that is its weight is 5 so we can place it in this first bin because the remaining amount of space in the first bin is actually 5 unit so we can place this object in the first bin so that we can avoid wastage of uh, space in the bins right and the remaining objects weight is 4 so which we can able to fit into the second bin so we are actually placing that object in the second bin so this is how optimal packaging has been done with all these objects into the bin so this is what the actual bin packing problem so how we are finding the optimal packaging for this example so if you look at this bin packing problem which is somewhat similar to this scheduling problem so what is scheduling prob problem which is nothing but we will be having some processor and we will be having some resources so we have to allocate all the resources to the processor so based on the time of execution uh, which is provided by the processor and based on the time of execution uh, will be given for any uh, such resources so we will be providing all these resources to the processor so we'll be allocating all the resources to the processor so in that way it starts its execution with the help of resources that is what scheduling problem so in that processor can be act as a bin and resources all set to be objects so we how we are allocating all those resources into the processor so another one concept which is very similar to this bin packing problem is tapes which means a secondary memory device so if you have some tapes and how we are actually uh, storing programs into the tapes so based on the length of the tapes and based on the program size we will be providing the programs into the tapes so we will be having several um, uh, i mean programs different in their own uh, different size and all those programs how we are actually uh, placing into the Uh, tapes so this is also uh, which is very similar to this bin packing problem so in order to go uh, uh, solve these kind of scheduling problem and the storing programs into the tapes so we are actually using this bin packing problem so here we will be having some simple heuristics for bin packing problem so uh, let us see what are all the heuristics otherwise we can also name it as approximation algorithms so first one is first fit algorithm next best fit algorithm first fit decreasing algorithm best fit decreasing algorithm so all these approximation algorithms are implemented to solve this bin packing problem so we will be getting some solution if you use all these problems so one by one we will um, implement these algorithm in order to solve this bin packing problem so let us see first algorithm that is first fit so if you so the concept of this first fit algorithm is so we will be having some number of objects the same example i have taken here and all these objects uh, came in this order that is this is actually the first object this is second one third one fourth one fifth one and sixth one so this first fit algorithm will check what are all the objects we have so how it actually enters uh, in that same order we need to place all the objects into the bin that is what first in first fit first in first come first serve so which means whichever the object uh, enters first so we have to consider that object first and we need to place that object into the bin so let us see how we are actually arranging all these objects into the bins so first we are uh, having first bin and in the first object will be stored in this first bin so its weight is 5 so remaining space we have some 5 unit of uh, space will be there in the first bin if you go and check with the second object its weight is actually 6 which exceeds the remaining space of the first bin so we are moving to second bin and we have placed the second object in the second bin third object's weight is 3 so we have some space in the first bin we need to check whether first bin has been filled or not so it is not actually filled so we are just placing third object in the first bin and we are moving for the second uh, i mean next object so which has its weight that is 7 which is not able to fit into the first two bin so we are moving to third bin and we are placing this uh, fourth object 
and if you check the fifth object its weight is 5 so anywhere in the first three bins we cannot able to place this object so we are placing in the fourth bin and the last object's weight is 4 so first we are checking in the first bin does not have any space to hold this object so we are moving to the second bin and we are placing this object here this is actually first fit so if you use this first fit algorithm to solve this bin packing problem for the same example we need actually four number of bins but optimal packaging needs only three number of bins but if you implement this first fit algorithm it needs four number of bins so if you go and check with the second algorithm that is best fit right so we are actually again starting uh, placing this uh, first object in the first bin and you are checking with the second object so its weight is 6 which is which does not able to fit into the first bin so we just moved into the second bin and third object's weight is 3 so anyways we have some space in the first fit okay we have some space in the first fit but uh, sorry first bin but but we are actually placing this third object in the second bin because it is the best fit so because uh, we have some other object uh, its weight that is actually 5 so if you place this uh, third object in the first bin itself we don't find this uh, space for the uh, some other object which has its 5 unit or 5 weight okay so we are just placing this um, third object in the second bin and if you go and check it with the fourth object its weight is 7 so which does not fit in the first two bins so we are placing it in the third bin and if you go and check with the fifth object so it has which has its weight that is 5 so it is the tightest spot of that particular object so which is able to fit in the first bin itself and the finally the object 6 which has its weight 4 so does not able to fit in any of these three bins so we are actually moving into the fourth bin so by using this best fit algorithm so we need actually four bins to place all these objects so next algorithm is first fit and the best fit decreasing al so coming to the last two algorithm that is first fit decreasing and best fit decreasing so uh, first fit decreasing which means first we need to arrange all the given objects in decreasing order according to their weights we need to arrange all their all the objects into in decreasing order and afterwards we have to place all the objects one by one into the bin so let us see for the same example if you arrange it in dis, uh, decreasing order so it will become so it is actually the corresponding weights for the given objects so these are all said to be the name of the object so here uh, first object is in the third place so first one will be having fourth object second object first object fifth one and sixth finally third object so here first we are going with the first object so it has as its weight and that will be stored in the first bin and if you go and check with the second object which is weight is 6 which does not fit into the first bin so we are moving to the second bin and third object's weight is 5 so that is also not possible to fit in the first two bins so we are just moving into the fourth i mean third bin and fourth object's weight is 5 which we can able to fit into the third bin itself and fifth object's weight is 4 which is we can able to fit into the second bin and third object i'm sorry finally the object's weight is 3 so which we can able to place in the first bin so this is how the decreasing first to fit as well as best to fit decreasing algorithm works and in this we need only three number of bins which is a minimal number of bins will be required to place all these objects when we compare with the first to fit algorithm and best fit it is somewhat efficient this particular algorithm is somewhat efficient but because it requires minimal number of bins to place all the objects so this is how approximation algorithms we are actually implementing in order to solve the bin packing problem thank you